Hey guys, it's Sakar and welcome to week four of Golden Roulette. I have not seen what's in the Golden this week, so this is going to be my initial reaction to it. Uh, it is currently Saturday morning. I'm about to start up stream right after this, and I'm just really curious to see how this is going to go. So let's look at what we've got this week for Golden Roulette. All right, so we've got a choice between Grave Inevitability. Oh. Um, no, 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 thank you. Uh, no, thank you. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that too much. Uh, net just touch, uh, shocked. Ugh, this, this is terrible. Red Mountain. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Red Mountain's actually really cool. Red Mountain's really cool. Um, then Shulks, minor here. Wisdom. I like Shulks. I actually, uh, we did, uh, Champion of the Hist last week. But I actually prefer Shulks when it comes to the Minor Heroism sets because you get extra damage and stuff because of that. The other set, uh, uh, Champion of the Hist, it just gives you max stats, but Shulks actually gives you a bunch of extra damage, like weapon spell damage, crit chance, all that stuff. So Shulks and Red Mountain is actually looking really solid. Um, <laughs> uh, I know I said I would not do a DK build anymore. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. But that being said, Shulks would work really well on that because that minor hero is middle times awesome. Uh, Infernal Guardian, um, I don't know how to feel about that. It's not bad, but I was hope. Dude, we got Mayor Salak! Yo, we got Mayor Salak! Yo, guys, 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 that's huge. Guys, even if, oh my God. Marislock is huge. All right, so what can I do with minor heroism? I'm not gonna do DK. Marislock is awesome. So I'm thinking right away, right off the top of my head, the way the build is gonna be put down is Marislock, obviously. Um, Shulks on, cause that's a heavy set. I, I believe Shulks is heavy. I have it. Um, where is this? Ah, ah, all right, uh, Shulks. I believe it's a heavy set. It is a heavy set. Um, and I already have it, yes, you guys can see it in Reinforced, Reinforced. I already have it everywhere that I need it, so perfect, honestly. So, I'm thinking legs, chest, both jewelries. Um, and then I'll do, I was thinking Red Mountain front bar and then Vatishron back bar, because va using Vatishron on the back bar would really help a lot because that could just apply three status effects and then that would increase your Marisolotic damage a lot. So then Red Mountain, guys, as you can see, I've already got Red Mountain here. I will need to get a waste piece for that and we're good to go. Oh, oh, this is gonna be a good week. I could already tell. Okay, okay, okay. Um, guys, uh, uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. All right, let's get on to the next part of the video. All right, so for Golden Roulette, week four, I really think that this is the strongest week so far. I honestly had the most fun out of any week with this setup. It was actually a really strong setup, and I wanted to show you exactly what I'm running. So I'm running dual Maces of the Red Mountain on the front bar. My tooltip on that is up to 10.4K, and I'm not even buffed up right now, so buffed up. Just real quick, I know it doesn't make too much of a difference, but my tooltip on that is 12.2K with Red Mountain, so just a free proc on this is really nice. And then also I wanted to slot Vatishron on here because getting that extra little bit of damage from that is awesome And then also casting weakness to elements really helps my overall damage because I get three extra status effects on them And extra status effects helps my Maris lock damage having Maris lock on the golden is a Huge huge W and that extra damage from that was massive It was honestly without a doubt the best build that we've had so far then our tooltip on that is up to 9.2k So that is awesome Awesome as well plus we get an extra bunch of extra status effects from that so that's really cool and then also shulks is crazy cool i already had this on my character because i like shulks a lot having that minor heroism at all times let me really just shoot out ultimates as fast as possible and on top of that the extra lines of weapon and spell damage that you get from that it's nothing to be shy about either it's pretty cool and also, you know, you can see that everything's already golded out on here. These are things that I already had on my character, and it was just easy to put this week together. I loved it so much. It was a great setup. Overall, if you're looking at my stats too, you know, Jewel of Miserable, the Warrior Mundus. Let's get fully buffed up real quick because, you know, why not? Looking at the stats on here, 
Uh, our resistances are 27 and 26K, which is actually really nice on a stamps work. Uh, front bar crit is up to 31.4%. Our weapon damage is up to 6K as well. So overall, I thought this was a great setup. So let's get a little bit more in tune with the uh, damage on this set. I wanted to actually show you guys some of the just footage for this as well. So let's get on with that part as well. But guys, I can't stress enough. This was without a doubt the most fun I've had on a golden roulette build so far. It was so strong. Why am I stuck on this? Why am I stuck on this? Hello? I feel like I can kill this. Damn, that's a good combo. That's a really good combo. This is without a doubt the best build that I could have ever asked for for Golden Roulette. I thought it was so much fun. I thought that the damage was actually really good. I got a lot of really good fights, but it kind of got to that point where not everything was really clip worthy, you know what I mean? But it genuinely felt so solid and it was the kind of build that I would probably use in a regular setting. I would maybe switch up shulks, but that minor heroism really felt nice at all times. 
the way I was just able to just output ultimates so quickly, it actually really felt nice. So let me know if you guys would have changed anything. That's really how I would have build it entirely how I did. I really liked how it came out and I really wouldn't have changed anything in my personal experience. But guys, thank you so much for watching at the end. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next video. Later.